Okay, so what I've got going on here is we're gonna reseal this idler uh, grease track tensioner. So I've got the track off. I like keeping it halfway on if you can. Suck it in, pull that off. Um, it's pretty easy. There's a hole right here. Um, I have a YouTube short where I show you a uh, nine millimeter, or I'm sorry, 19 millimeter can go in there, a three quarter inch socket. You're gonna just crack that seal on the grease circuit itself. Um, I like having this elevated with this track up in the air as it falls. Uh, the weight of your track will actually pull and suck this uh, dra track tensioner in. You get a big old pile of grease, I recommend taking a, um, a rag and scooping it out and keeping it clean. Um, now, I'll show, show you the setup that I've got here. I got my outrigger down, a crane in the air. I like going around this when I pull them out. So you can see here, this is what we're trying to pull out of the track frame. I've got this right around here. Now this slides out with it. So if you ever have to take these off, these little smaller straps are the best. I like having one set up here on my crane um, and I'll show you. And then I also run a come along just to the side. Now you can see that this is fortified in here. It's all strengthened so it's not gonna bend on my truck. And this is just how I do it. You get this come along here and you'll see, pull it and it just starts coming. Lift it up with that crane. I'm gonna pull it around right here. I'm gonna set it on the back of my service truck uh, and split it apart and see. Um, I'll show you another video on how to uh, get that apart. Uh, pretty simple on how to get it apart and then also how to change the seals in this uh, piston to get it to hold grease again to pump back up. So we're gonna do both sides. Um, fairly easy, pretty labor intensive, but if you have a crane, it makes it way easier, a skid steer or a backhoe or something that you can lift this in and out with. But I'll do the same thing and I'll stab it the exact same way. When I get ready to put all this in, I'll actually put um, one of these, I'll loop this back down around itself here, and then I'll put another one around this spring and hold it all in and I'll just push it in. And I'll get a digging bar or a crowbar and I'll just wedge it right here against that roller and I'll just slightly push it in. Um, make sure when you get it, pull it out that this track frame is cleaned inside here without any debris and it'll go in a little easier. It wouldn't hurt to also throw a little grease on these ways uh, right here. That's where the machine rests is not on this but on the bottom one is where all the weight sits. So just... Uh, just a quick little video on on how to get those out if you ever have to.